The battle between security agencies and smugglers has been ongoing for the longest time, as technological advancements and new techniques continue to emerge to enable the detection of these illicit activities, the smugglers also seem to delight in reinventing themselves. From reptiles strapped to the body to cigarettes stuffed into tree trunks, we bring you 10 of the smartest smugglers in the world. Number 1. Reptiles strapped to a man You'd think people would be scared to strap live snakes to their bodies, but these smugglers have proven that fear is nothing, where a lucrative business opportunity is concerned. In 2009, a 22-year-old Norwegian man was caught with 14 non-venomous royal pythons and 10 albino geckos. They were not in his luggage or a special disguised package. No, they were strapped to his body. The snakes were carefully wrapped in socks and taped to his torso, while the geckos were each placed in individual tins and tied around his legs. Security operatives became suspicious when a tarantula was found in his suitcase. Perhaps it was too delicate to strap to his body. The smuggler, who had come from Denmark by ferry, was trying to gain entry into Kristiansand with his illegal items. In recent times, this trick was attempted again. On the 25th of February of this year, a 30-year-old man was found with 52 live lizards and snakes taped to his body. And from Oxnard is accused of smuggling more than 1,700 reptiles into the United States. And if that's not strange enough, authorities say they caught the man illegally importing 60 of the reptiles hidden in his clothes last month as he tried to come into the United States from Mexico. The man was attempting to cross the the Mexico-US border in California in a truck when immigration officials noticed something was amiss. And it wasn't anything hidden in the vehicle, it was right on the driver. The man who was discovered to be Jose Manuel Perez, a Southern Californian man who had placed the reptiles in plastic bags and strapped them to the inner parts of his jacket and pants including his groin area. Now that's some serious boldness. Further investigation revealed that Perez was responsible for the smuggling of close to 2,000 reptiles that he had smuggled from Mexico and Hong Kong since 2016. The reptiles included rare and endangered species of crocodiles and turtles. Number two, pigeons with backpacks. Smuggling drugs in person seems to be outdated now as a new strategy has been detected. Quite ironically, it involves an ancient method of carrying messages that can be traced back to the Roman era, pigeons. These birds have been used in old times for delivering messages over hundreds of kilometers. The Birds can be trained and nurtured to perform specific tasks and can travel long distances without forgetting their homes. In Kuwait, a pigeon was arrested in 2017 with what appeared to be a small backpack containing almost 200 pills confirmed to be illicit substances and worth thousands of dollars. You may have already figured out why this method is seemingly foolproof. The pigeon cannot be held responsible for its actions, and it also has no means of ratting out its owners. Previously, in a separate 2015 prison incident in Colombia, a pigeon who was likely sent to deliver a consignment of drugs to prison inmates was caught as the weight of the package restricted it from flying high enough to scale the prison fence. Also, in 2011, prison officials in a Costa Rica prison caught a pigeon with a zippered pouch. It contained significant amounts of cocaine and cannabis. Perhaps, in the years to come, experts can find a way to get these pigeons to lead them home or face the consequences of their crimes alone. Well, that's on a lighter note. Number 3. Cigarettes in Tree Trunks The prospect of making a profit from selling cigarettes in the UK has led to a rise in cases of cigarette smuggling in Europe. Cigarette packs made in Ukraine are sold for about $2, while they can be sold for as much as $10 in the UK. In 2015, a genius smuggling attempt was foiled at the Ukrainian border by immigration authorities. Large quantities of timber are often transported between countries, and so this consignment would ordinarily arouse no suspicion, until the officials notice something strange. Logs of timber are incredibly heavy, so when they notice Noticed some lightweight ones, they knew something fishy was going on. But what could it be? Upon closer analysis of one of the unusually light logs, they noticed that there were signs that it had been tampered with and immediately swung into action with a chainsaw. The log was cut open and a startling discovery was made. It had been hollowed out and stuffed full of packets of cigarettes, after which the surface was expertly covered again with wood. Out of a total of 27 tons of timber, 55 such logs were found and 25,000 packets of cigarettes were discovered. The Russian smugglers had gotten the packs from Belarus and intended to transport them to Poland and then to Germany. From there, they would be taken to their final destination, the United Kingdom. As smart as these smugglers were, they didn't remember that cigarettes would weigh significantly less than wood, or perhaps they felt they'd concealed their Trojan logs well enough. Number 4. Manolo Blahnik Shoes If this was not a verified case discovered by an intensive investigation by security operatives, it would seem like a story out of the wild imagination of a writer or filmmaker. In 2011, a shocking discovery was made, which put an end to a two-year ingenious drug smuggling operation. Imagine building a luxury brand of some of the best shoes in the world, only to have the name associated with cocaine smuggling operations you're oblivious about. Sad, right? Well, that's what happened with Manolo Blahnik. A Colombian man and his wife ran a drug trafficking ring for two years 
escaping detection by airport officials because of their skillful methods. They would mix a special liquid with a cocaine to make a paste. This paste would then be used to make Manolo Blahnik dupes in different colors and complete with perfectly doctored labels. These knockoffs cost over 100 times more than the original luxury shoes. The shoes would then be given to women to be worn as they boarded planes. On arriving at their destination, the shoes would undergo a chemical process to return them to a powdered cocaine. When the gang was caught, they had over nine pounds of cocaine in their possession, estimated to be worth well over half a million dollars. Number five, cocaine in bars of soap. A 91-year-old religious dentist has become the latest victim of a drug drug mule scam after more than a million dollars of cocaine was found inside 27 bars of soap in the elderly man's luggage. This 91-year-old man shocked the world, but it turns out that he was just as shocked. Victor Twartz set the record as the oldest person to be charged with smuggling cocaine. However, his story is quite a peculiar one, with the villains being an undisclosed cocaine smuggling ring in New Delhi, India. In 2015, Twartz found new friends online and began to build a strong rapport with them over several months, exchanging a series of emails. Eventually, he was convinced to make a trip to see his friends in India, and it was in the course of this journey that he ran into trouble. He recalled that after he was dropped at the airport to return home to Sydney, Australia, he was given a package as a gift for someone. It turns out that the elderly man had been promised a $10 million inheritance, which was to be supposedly cleared and handed over to him by a bank manager in Sydney. The gift package turned out to be a clever attempt to smuggle 4.5 kilograms of cocaine into Australia. Twartz said he checked the soap, even scraping it to confirm that it was truly soap, and that although there were white streaks, he concluded they were just fragrances or herbs. I opened it up and I scratched it and it certainly was soap, but it had some white streaks in it, which um, tended to, which I'm told was cocaine. Authorities discovered that the 27 bars of soap he was given contained cocaine, worth over a million dollars. The retired oral surgeon and staunch member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church was discharged and acquitted after evidence showed that he was simply a gullible victim of smart drug barons. He said he wished for those who had deceived him to be thrown into the biblical pit of fire. Number six, hummingbirds in a man's pants. This man took upon himself a quite uncomfortable adventure as he sought to transport more than 12 hummingbirds in the crotch area of his pants. Now, you're probably Probably wondering what a foolish attempt this may have been, considering these birds are quite chatty. Well, that's why they were sedated, to prevent them from making any noise. However, their beaks had to be left open to prevent them from suffocating, and perhaps it was their painful pecking that made him move so much. This erratic movement was what drew the attention of airport security, and the man was subsequently searched. The startling discovery was made at Rochambeau Airport in Cayenne, French Guyana, revealing that the birds had been tightly wrapped and taped to prevent them from moving around or attempting to escape. They were then placed in tiny any pouches sewed into the inner parts of the man's pants. He was detained and the poor birds were rescued from the sweaty bondage and uncomfortable proximity to their captor's private areas. Further investigations revealed that the smuggler had been previously caught attempting to smuggle birds, yet it is unclear if he was ever charged for either case. If he had made it into the plane, there would have been one painful ride, and his seat partners would have been left to wonder about his strange movements. Number 7. Heroin in Woven Rugs What are the chances of a 5 million pound heroin heist being linked to a shipment of beautiful hand-woven rugs? In 20 in 2014, security operatives at Manchester Airport swung into action when their skilled sniffer dogs began to make a racket around a bunch of rolled rugs. Doubt set in when the merchandise was unrolled and searched without any traces of illicit drugs. A deeper look, however, revealed something surprising. The drugs had been expertly hidden in the rugs. They were skillfully packaged into thread-like sheaths that resembled the yarn used to weave the rugs. It was so expertly done that it took the police extended periods and painstaking work to fish out all the strands. Over 50 kilograms of heroin was found in the first few weeks of the seizure. The shipment, which contained 46 colorful rugs, was handmade in Peshawar, Pakistan, but had been sent through Abu Dhabi. It is unclear where exactly the drugs were woven into the rugs. Two men were arrested in connection with the incident. Before this event, in 2008, there had been reports of drug barons in China using rugs made in Afghanistan and Pakistan as envoys for heroin. The process was said to involve injecting the illegal substance into tiny plastic tubes, which would be wrapped in fibers to simulate yarns. They were then woven back into the rugs. The sophisticated procedure procedure was said to defy detection methods, but thanks to expert sniffer dogs, security operatives now have an edge. Number 8. Drug-Filled Donuts Drug cartels have had a long-term practice of smuggling drugs alongside food because of the urgency and special care given to perishable items in transit. However, this particular incident beat the imagination of airport officers. In Bogota, Colombia, a woman was about to board a plane when the detection machine sent a signal that something was wrong. Her box of donuts contained much more than tasty pastry. Concealed inside the package were pouches containing 
containing a total of one kilogram of cocaine. She was immediately arrested, and her treats were seized. Quite sad that such a delicious pastry had to go to waste, but who would risk consuming dangerous amounts of cocaine all for a donut? This is not the only time sugary confectionery has been used in disguise. In Bavaria, Germany, a 33-year-old man had his donut filled with crystal meth instead of jam. And in yet another incident, Mexican soldiers seized a shipment containing boxes of pastry. Their actions were not motivated by hunger or a craving for the sugary treat. Instead, they detected that cocaine had been sprinkled on the snacks instead of sugar. Number 9. Breast Implants with Drugs It is scary what smugglers are willing to do to their bodies, all in a bid to transport illegal drugs across borders and airports. This woman forsook all other methods of smuggling and did not carry the drugs attached to any parts of her body. Instead, she put them inside her body. Airport authorities were left in a state of shock when this Colombian woman was discovered at the Frankfurt airport with fresh wounds and in a tremendous amount of pain. She tried to ward off their concern, but her responses were said to be incoherent and vague. She had bloodied bandages covering fresh operation scars that seemed to have been inflicted during a sketch operation. The security operative sensed foul play and decided to get to the root of the matter, so she was taken to a hospital where doctors confirmed that she had received a breast implant. But that wasn't all. The implants were lumps of cocaine wrapped in plastic sheets and worth over $200,000. In 2014, a similar event was recorded in an airport in Madrid when a woman was taken aside for investigation due to her suspicious behavior. A search revealed that her breasts felt and looked irregular, leading to more questioning. Following her confession, she was taken to a hospital where almost two kilograms of cocaine implants were removed from her body. Number 10. The Smuggler Pilot The last smuggler on our list today takes us into the world of Rick Leitius. While many drug barons and mafia groups are known, many of their operations are often facilitated by unknown underdogs. Rick was one of such men, and the brains behind many drug smuggling operations. He was the owner of Air America, a company responsible for making custom changes to aircraft, including luxury upgrades for his clients, who brought their small private planes to him. The ride changed when there was an economic downturn that affected his regular clientele and threatened to send his company into the oblivion of bankruptcy. A new breed of clients started to come his way, and they were none other than the drug barons of the United States. He quickly discovered that he was sitting on a gold mine and had better brains and skills than many of said clients, so he put his skill to use and developed an invincible modus operandi for smuggling drugs into American territory. With a small plane modified to travel thousands of kilometers, carrying three times more than its regular fuel capacity and a stronger engine with greater horsepower, he became an expert smuggler. He even got an FAA certificate making the modifications legal and acquired a list of radar locations and flight paths from a corrupt FBI agent. Before his eventual conviction, he skillfully avoided arrest by making friends with the DEA officials and even politicians. With his charm and engineering expertise, he successfully transported huge metric tons of cocaine over hundreds of trips, making over a million dollars per trip. These smuggling attempts are a testament to the lengths people are willing to go to hit the jackpot and make some quick cash. Yet, such creative skills could have been put to good use in legal endeavors too. No doubt, these smuggling attempts were super smart, but perhaps the smartest smugglers are the ones who still haven't been caught. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to give it a thumbs up and click on any of the two videos on your screen to watch yet another informative video.